Okay, so um, we're going to switch from a very small device to much bigger device with Yocto. Um, I am a French. I am French. Really. <laughs> I'm a de Linux developer, a writer and teacher. And currently I am a CTO uh, for a company called uh, Small ECS. It was open wide before, but now it's SMI ECS, which means uh, embedded and connected systems. Um, so we, we, I will talk about using Yocto in the uh, IoT world uh, with the first use case with a sensor uh, based on a small uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. And the second, uh, second example would be an example uh, from uh, people from Toulouse at my ECS and using a Raspberry Pi running Yocto, but just for a border router. So yeah, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Facebook is everywhere. Uh, so there are several kinds of objects. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, basic, uh, basic objects such as sensors with uh, microcontrollers. And um, sometimes the software is bare metal or some lightweight such as uh, Contiki. When we talk about Riot, there is another operating system uh, very, very famous and quite old, which is called Contiki. And the second class of uh, object is a, it's a computer. It's a kind of computer uh, with a high-speed CPU and an OS such as uh, Linux, uh, Tizen, or Android. So there are some examples. Uh, this one, it's, uh, I don't know if it is fa famous, uh, out of France, it's a parrot. Uh, flower power it's a, it's a sensor for the for the plants for for the flowers so i, I use it on my uh, flowers in paris but uh, all the flowers are dead now not because of the sensor but uh, <laughs> because it was very cold and uh, the second class is um is it, it's a, it's a tesla motors car and uh, they say the tesla motors is a car co is a connected computer on, on wheels it's a kind of uh, connected object and uh, this is an example of um, of coffee machine. I didn't test because I don't like coffee, but uh, I, I like Yocto. It, it's it's running Yocto. Uh, I don't know if it is really use, useful to run Yocto on a coffee machine, but it's fine for the demonstration. <laughs> yeah. So I will talk about Linux and IoT and. Um, well, it's not a universal OS for the, for the IoT and for the embedded, but um, there is a, a document called IoT Developer Survey in <laughs> last year, and uh, they, they say the 73% uh, of uh, IoT devices run Linux, and the second one was bare metal, which is quite uh, amazing, and the, the third was free Atos, and the sixth, uh, the fourth was Contiki. So it's all uh, except. Bare metal is all free OS. That's a good news. And but when you talk about uh, Linux as an OS, don't forget you you have a, so it is a, a a bunch of distributions, and uh, you can put Linux on the board without using a distribution. So the distribution such as Debian, Ubuntu, etc. is fine for for developing, but it's not fine for. Um, I, it is my opinion for embedded system, and for embedded system you you use build systems such as Yocto or Beirut or some uh, kind of wind build system, but so Yocto and Beirut are the most famous. So you know what is a Linux distribution, I, I hope so. So it's, um, it's big and slow, but uh, not so slow, but it's, it's quite big. And uh, now there is another problem. Uh, most distributions such as Ubuntu and Debian, they run on ARM. So it is, it's easy to take a wrong way. So we have lots of customers, they buy uh, uh, an embedded board, they put uh, Ubuntu on the board or Debian, and they say, well, we change it in the future, and they never change it, except when there is a big problem. So they call us. And the good way for, um, one of the good way, in my opinion, for um, running Linux on embedded and IoT is to, to use a, a build system. So what is a build system? Uh, it's not a distribution, it's just a tool to, to create the distribution um, from the sources. And uh, most of the time it does not provide the sources but only recipes. And um, 
when you run the, the build system, you, you have the binary files to be installed on the target, so bootloader, Linux kernel, etc., etc., and you can provide uh, additional information such as uh, licensing issues or dependency graphs, etc. So it's, mu it's much better for the footprint, uh, for the boot time, etc. Uh, it's quite the same with Android. Android uses uh, a build system, but uh, they provide sources. So it's uh, 40, 40 gigabytes, uh, the size is 40 gigabytes. They, they provide their sources, and uh, they are their version of external sources, and uh, specific um, uh, build system, which is based on, on, on shell script, but it's open source. It's a AO, AOSP. So the most famous build systems are Yocto. The first one is Yocto. Uh, the second one, in my opinion, is Billroot, and the third is OpenWRT, which is based on Billroot. And the major difference between Billroot and OpenWRT is the packaging support on, the, on OpenWRT. So uh, OpenWRT is, is famous for, for, the, for the router, for this router, but uh, it, it, it runs on some uh, such uh, some device, small device for IoT. This is a Wii IO. It's an IoT uh, device uh, developed in Paris. But it's not very famous because, because uh, in France we are not very good for, for selling things. So <laughs> it, it's, it's famous inside Paris. Um, and it's, uh, it's, a quite, it's quite a good uh, device with, uh, with OpenWRT, lots of sensor and very cheap, but uh, well, not very famous. So Beirut, uh, it's a, it's a, it was a project for, for Michael Silipsi, and now it's a real project uh, with uh, quite simple. It's based on Makefile, it's based on GNU Make, and, and you can produce not, not really a Linux distribution, but a Linux firmware because there is no packaging support. You, you run a build route, you get a, uh, an image, and you put, you put it on the target, and you can change any, anything. So, well. Open Embedded was, uh, was the first project before Yocto. It's a cross com compilation framework. It was started for this device, which, which is uh, quite old. It was the first, as far as I know, it was the first uh, PDA for, for running Linux and Qt. Um, and uh, it's quite fam famous to, to, when there is a di Linux distribution for a device, most of people, they want to develop another one. <laughs> Not for using it, but for the pleasure to develop another one. And uh, that, wa that was worse because the people, they work on open, uh, open Zorus, but they develop the tool to develop Open Zorus. <laughs> and the, the tool was Open Embedded. So Open Embedded uh, is based on uh, recipes uh, with a specific tool called Bitbeck. And all the components are based on uh, recipes uh, from the hello world to the world distribution. And that's quite different from, from uh, Build. There are classes, headers, uh, configuration files you can inherit from classes. Uh, you can derive a reci recipe, which is very useful. We'll speak about it. And uh, the files are organized at layers. And there are packages. First, it was uh, IPK, which, uh, which is a very small uh, uh, packaging system. Uh, but now the, the default uh, packaging system is RPM because uh, it's uh, Red Hat put some money in the in the Yocto project, so well, and lots of people use Red Hat, Red Hat in uh, in industry. So, uh, so Yocto Yocto is a unit prefix for the metric system. So it's a, it's a very small distribution, not really the, the size, but uh, it's it's the smallest uh, prefix. So it was uh, started uh, started uh, seven years ago by the Linux Foundation. And in order to integrate uh, all the projects for around the pun embedded, because uh, the documentation, the current documentation of the sub-project around, uh, around the open embedded was awful. There was nothing except to be done, to be done, to be done. Uh, so uh, there was a, there was a lot of documentation. So it's quite complica complicated to use Yocto, but now you have a very good, good documentation. So, well. And, uh, uh, lots of uh, embedded uh, companies, uh, including hardware makers and uh, device makers, software editors, they are members of, of the Yocto project. And there is a guy uh, which is the chief, uh, 
of the projects uh, such as uh, for the Linux development. And uh, for us, it's very important as a, as a service company, it's very important to know Yocto and for the customer too, because uh, most of Linux BSP to do today, if you buy a, a module, uh, you have uh, the Linux BSP is a, is a Yocto layer, open embedded layer. So if you don't know Yocto or open embedded, you can build your system. You can't build your system. So it's, uh, well, this is a classical workflow. The main difference between uh, between Buildroot and, uh, and Yocto Open Embedded is the, that you, uh, you generate the, the, package, the packages even if you don't put the packages on the, on the board. Inside the, the system there are all, all the packages. So if you, you just have to add an option to put the packages on the, on the board. It's uh, quite uh, interesting. So it's a system based on layers. So you have the, this here you have the, the, the basic layers, the core layers and the Yocto layer, and then you can put your layers, so additional layers up on the previous layers. The first one is a BSP, of course. Uh, if you don't want to run QMU or basic PC, uh, and then you can add anything you want, and for example, you, we can, you can write, you can add an IoT layer, or you can build or, or get from uh, external sources. So, some code. Uh, if you want to build a Yocto distribution for Raspberry Pi, you, the, first, uh, the first step is to clone the, the, the right branch. It was based on Krogot, but now it's, uh, there is a new version. Uh, you clone the Meta Raspberry Pi uh, layer, you start a build uh, directory, you add the layer with a script, you set the machine name, you build the basic distribution, and then you generate a, an image for the SD card. It's quite simple. Well, <laughs> when, when you know how to do. Uh, so the, the first use case was uh, last summer, uh, as we were integrated with, uh, with a Smile company, in Smile Company was uh, involved in open source, uh, but involved in open source in a web server, etc., not embedded systems. So they, they, they wanted to get a, a demonstration, so something like that. Uh, sorry, it's in, it's in French, some, something in French, some in, in English. Uh, so they have, uh, they have some, uh, some, some uh, s demonstration uh, just like here. Yeah. And they need a, a sensor <laughs> to get some data. So they called me to, uh, to build a, a demonstration in one day, or about one or two days. And um, it was a demonstration based on Raspberry Pi. It was not Raspberry Pi Zero at this time, but for the, for the first day I bought a Raspberry Pi Zero be because it's uh, very smart. And uh, with a, a sensor, I square C uh, temperature and pressure sensor I got from uh, from Adafruit. Adafruit, yeah, I don't know the name. Yeah, Adafruit in France. Um, a Wi-Fi uh, USB, and we use the HTTP protocol because it, it was very simple. So that, that was nice. Uh, so my my I I decided to to start from the smaller distribution, which is called Core Image Minimal. And to add uh, the, the right package because you can you can uh, build a very complicated distribution with lots of packages. But I would start with a very very basic distribution, and the basic distribution without the packaging system is about uh, 15 megabytes. It's uh, not very big for a Linux system. And then uh, then I add uh, some uh, some options package management. Uh, standard or derivative uh, recipes and new recipes, for example, to control the sensor. And uh, I put everything in a meta IoT, meta IoT uh, layer with a script, Yocto layer. Um, and uh, on, uh, on Yocto, you have a local.conf, which is your local configuration file to build on your, on your build directory. But it's, it's only for the test, because you can add lots of options on local.conf, but if you give the distribution to, the, to another guy, he should not do the same thing. So you have to, to build a, a dedicated uh, distribution at the end, which is called RPI IoT image. For the, 
the derivation was very interesting in Yocto. It is very interesting in Yocto. So the, the, the principle is quite simple. You have one recipe, which is uh, .bb, where you define how to build uh, the component in layer A, for example. And you write uh, a, new, uh, a new recipe, not a new recipe, uh, a sub-recipe, which is called a BB appen uh, in another layer. And in the second uh, recipe, you can change, add files, change files, etc. But you don't change uh, the main, uh, the main part of the of recipe. It's not uh, that's that's uh, the best interest. And so, for for example, for the example, we 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 modified the network configuration. We changed just one line, ETH zero to the, the W LAN zero. It was very difficult. Um, we had the uh, HTTP uh, server uh, light HTTPD. Uh, we activated the uh, I2C in the config file of the Raspberry Pi, and we we had uh, to to load the I2, I, I2C dev module. So, for example, uh, in the, in the basic distribution for the Raspberry Pi, only the Ethernet. Uh, uh, Interface is started, to have, so we have just to, to switch from uh, at ETH0 to WLAN0. We have some additional packages uh, with Imagen Salapen, for, so IW, etc., etc. And we update uh, the network interface file for, uh, for WLAN0, and we use uh, manually, we start the, the network configuration with, uh, with the binary uh, WPA passwords. Uh, so the, um, updating the starting uh, I square C for the Raspberry Pi is quite simple. It's, it's not activated by default, so we have we have to to modify the uh, the config the configuration file, which is config.txt, and to to add a, a function uh, which is. Uh, uh, executed after the deployment phase, so it's called do deploy happen and to modify the the file. And then we uh, we add the, the tools for the I square C and the kernel modules because the, the basic distribution dis doesn't include the uh, the modules. You look like a snake. You are green and <laughs> <laughs> and and then you you um. You modify the, the kernel. You modify the kernel uh, recipe just to add uh, this line to to add the automatic uh, load of uh, I, I square C dev. And we have to write uh, a, a control room, a basic uh, C program. Uh, there was a basic C program from from the internet. It was based on RyMPy. RyMPy is a library for for Pi players, and it was a uh, it was packaged in the Meta Raspberry Pi uh, layer. And we started the service, very basic service, let's try on, uh, just like on all uh, good old Linux and good old Unix without systemd. Uh, just with a script with, uh, which reads the sensor every 20 seconds. And we have a class to build such a service. Um, so I can show you some uh, some piece of code, maybe. Oh, yeah, I need. Uh, uh, but, uh, but. So for Yocto, just an example, Mita IoT. So some standard names for the recipes uh, directories. A way of programming on Yocto. You can you can put Toto inside of uh, what? Recipes core. For example, in in order to to change. Uh, in order to change. And then you add uh, a new a new a new file with uh, with uh, automatic starting on WLAN zero. Uh, a bit more difficult. 
um, if you develop the script, the program, so it is the program uh, to control the I square C sensor. This is one C program. And uh, you add some files uh, to, uh, to write a simple script to build a dynamic, dynamic uh, web page. It's very efficient, it's just for the demo. But I like the on-fashion things. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur, so that's... Uh, <coughs> of course I like. Okay. So you can... Uh, so is it possible to get... Okay, the so android.spot. We can start the, a bit demo demonstration. I hope so. <laughs> So we can you can see uh, the the P uh, the P zero booting. It's quite fast for Linux. <laughs> Should be. Without the network, it's faster. But without the network, it's difficult to to get IoT running. So. <laughs> uh, Okay, it's okay. So, uh, is it okay for? Well, I have a problem with my uh, my PC. It's okay on the board, but on the, not on the PC. Try the first just No, no, because I, I need to be on the Android spot, but uh, I don't know why it doesn't work. Stuck. <coughs> what? I'm not sure. Ah, okay. No, not for them. Uh, not for them. No, no, not the dream. <laughs> okay. Okay, but it's not a problem. Uh, yeah. Temp HTML. So, so yeah. So it's a twenty uh, twenty dot seven degrees here. I'm not sure, but uh, it's okay. Yeah. So it's uh, when uh, 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 I don't remember the count was in count up. Ah. Six second. Why? One fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it it should change. It should change if you put your your finger. It should change. Well, it should change. Yeah. Refresh. No, but uh, there is a there should be an automatic refresh. But uh, oh, okay. No, it's. <laughs> I will die, I will die, I will die. <laughs> okay. It's very cold in Belgium. Uh, so, um, we have uh, 30, 36 seconds. So just to talk about another... Uh, another use, use case is just some, some words about uh, uh, a work was done by Nicolas Aguirre in Toulouse. It's more a complex demonstration based on, on real IoT device with six lopan and we use the Raspberry Pi as a border router running Yocto. And uh, it's uh, based on the sensor tag. It's a, it's a device uh, from Texas Instruments uh, with a Cortex M with low power. It's really it's, it's a really uh, it's a real IoT device. Um, and we use a software which is called uh, 6LBR, uh, border router software. So you get the data from the tags you send to the cloud with MQTT, etc., etc. Et and you can uh, you can use Grafana to to see the the, the values uh, with a web uh, web browser. It's very famous today. Grafana, everybody speaks about Grafana, so it's 
but it's fine. I, I, I don't understand how, how it could work, but it's fine, very fine. Okay, if you have some question. Well. One, one or two questions. One or two questions. Or, or no. Or no question. It's better no question <laughs> to, to get the time. Everything is clear. Yeah, one question. Uh, you said you the Not me, the Yocto project. You can change it in the yeah. Uh, the question was: You say uh, you say you use RPM in the in the distribution. Uh, you can change it in your configuration, Yocto configuration, but this is the default. If you want a, sp a smaller distribution, you can use IPK, and it's half the size. <laughs> But I use RPM as a, as a test. But you can use IPK. Uh, it's much bet not much better for embedded. Uh, and second question: Do you use Uzlibc as well, or it's uh, Glibc by default, or it's uh, Uzlibc by default? Uh, the question was about uh, using uh, Musil or Glibc. It's Glibc by default on Yocto. I don't know if you can build a cross compiler with with uh, Musil on Yocto. You can do it on build root. But I'm not sure uh, on the Octo. Yeah, you can. You, we can? OK. Yeah. We can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm afraid we'll have to take uh, other questions outside. I'm outside. Sorry. Yeah. OK. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Merci.